Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. I'm going to answer the following question. Can you mix coolant brand, colors, or technologies? Before I can answer that question, it's very important to understand that there are different technologies. For example, vehicles before year 2000 is going to use IAT technology, basic inorganic additive technology. Vehicles after year 2000 is going to use OAT technologies, basically organic acid inhibitor technology. And now you have the uh, modern technologies, basically HOAT, which is called hybrid organic acid technology. Basically that's a combination of IAT and OAT technologies. So different technology is gonna offer different type of protection against corrosion. For example, vehicles be uh, before year 2000 is going to use ethylene glycol which has a high boiling point and a lower freezing point and its main active ingredients is phosphates which offers protection against corrosion this is perfect for vehicles using um, cast iron blocks OAT coolant is used for vehicles after year 2000 and it uses organic corrosion inhibitors to offer protection for engine blocks that's made of aluminum or engine head is also made of aluminum and the lifespan of it lasts for approximately five years however organic corrosion inhibitor does not offer protection for copper or brass now you have HOAT uh, technology or coolant basically is a hybrid organic acid technology basically is a combination of IAT and OAT and this, you're going to see it more commonly in more modern vehicles. And it comes in a different range of colors, or rainbow colors. And its main ingredient is going to be silicates, which offer protection for aluminum. And this coolant lasts a very long time. It's going to last five years and plus, and probably lasts as long as 150,000 miles. To answer the question, can you mix coolant? And the answer is yes, as long as the technologies are the same. So that means if you have two different brands, like for example, this and this, and the technologies are the same, yes, you can mix it. However, the, the, the uh, technologies is completely different. You cannot mix it. So let's just say technologies are completely different. Basically, what's going to happen is there's going to be some sort of reaction between two different technologies, and that can cause the uh, coolant to start to, um, to start to gel up, and that can cause overheating. For example, when it starts to gel up, it can clog cooling passages, it can clog water jackets, it can clog up the radiator, it can clog up the uh, radiator cap, it can clog up the heater core and so on. This is why you don't want to mix technologies. In addition, let's just say you have an engine that uses OAT technology and you decide to use IAT technologies. That's going to have another some sort of reaction. Basically, all you need is 10 to 15 percent of IAT technology poured together with the OAT technology and that will cause enough for the coolant to start to uh, gel up and become kind of like jelly-like. Let's just say you have an engine that uses IAT technology and you decide to use OAT technology in the IAT technology um, a vehicle. So basically we all know that OAT only offer protection for aluminum. However, IAT vehicles for year 2000, most of it's going to be cast iron, especially cast iron block. And basically that needs ethylene glycol to offer protection. Also, it also needs phosphate as well to offer protection against corrosion. So if you just use OAT, organic acid inhibitor technology, it's not going to offer any protection. What's going to happen is vehicle that's going to overheat rapidly and also start to corrode as well. Another question is, can you mix colors? Basically, color is extremely irrelevant. Basically, that's just dye in the coolant. Again, you want to focus basically on technology. For example, we have IAT, OAT, HOAT. And look, they share the common color. That's going to be yellow, yellow, and yellow. So can you mix it together? You cannot mix it together because that will cause, again, some sort of reaction. Basically, there is no coolant that is more superior than the other. What's important? is what is your engine block or your engine cylinder head is made of and what type of technology you need to offer that protection for that specific engine that has that specific type of material such as cast iron or aluminum. 
So I hope that answers all your questions. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs and give me a like.